No people or animals were harmed in the making of this film. Well, maybe one. Viewer discretion is advised. The squirrel hunting boy. Nest Buster, part one. Yeah! That's how it's done right there, boys. And the squirrels ain't out, we can target that. Yeah. Guns and hunting are cool, but what's the political standpoint? Second Amendment states our rights to bear arms. A lot of people take this right for granted. Because of different occurrences that have been going on, the government is trying to take it away little by little, and we can't let that happen. Past couple of years, there have been a couple of shootings that happened in the United States. One of the most recent tragic shootings happened in Connecticut on January, December 14, 2012 at Sandy Hill Elementary School. A long gunman walked into this elementary school and began firing upon students. The death toll added up to be 20 students and 6 adults. What many people do not know is that this area was a gun-free zone in which no one could carry or fire a gun. Do you believe it or not, guns prevent criminal activity. For example, look at the United Kingdom. They have 2,034 violent crimes per 100,000 people each year. Compare that to the United States, which only has 466 violent crimes per 100,000 people every year. And your favorite student. The reason being that the United Kingdom has completely banned firearms from the civilians, but many criminals still have them. Why do you think they do this? Not only that, but police officers don't carry firearms to protect civilians in the UK, making them and other people more vulnerable to violent crime. Protect you from getting any harm on very many circumstances. For example, say you're going on a hike in the woods and you have no firearm to protect yourself. When all of a sudden a giant black bear jumps out and attacks you, but you have no firearm to protect yourself because it is illegal, so what would you do? Did you get it? Our robber comes in and tries to steal from you or kill you. How are you going to protect yourself and your family and the things that you love very much? You're dead, boy. Background checks are necessary to protect civilians from violent people. But at the extent that they use it at, they make a foothold in your personal life, taking away our freedom of privacy. The Second Amendment states our rights to bear arms. A lot of people take this right for granted. Because of different occurrences that have been going on, the government is trying to take it away little by little, and we can't let that happen. Stand up for your rights, and do not let liberal politicians who want more control of you to take your rights away. It is your choice. Make the right decision. The Second Amendment states all rights to bear arms. A lot of people take this right for granted because of different occurrences that have been going on. The government is trying to take it away little by little, and we can't let that happen. <laughs> Over the past couple of years, there have been a couple of shootings that have happened in the United States. One of the most recent and tragic shootings happened in Connecticut on January, December 14, 2012. <laughs> Over the past couple of years, there have been a couple of shootings... <laughs> Over the past couple of years, there have been a couple of shootings that have happened in the United States. <laughs> couple of years. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. Squirrel. Mm -hmm. Past 
couple of years, there have been a couple of shootings that have happened in the United States. Over the past couple of years, there have been a couple of shootings that have happened. <laughs> not only that, but police officers do not carry firearms to protect civilians in the UK, making them and other people more... <laughs> The Second Amendment states our rights to bear arms. A lot of people take this right for granted. Because different occurrences that have been going on in the government. <laughs>